Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Happy Friday to you. We thank God for this day. It's a glorious day. I will give God all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. This is every word of God for daily living. bless you i give you glory honor adoration blessed be your glorious name lord king of kings lord of lord lion of the tribe of judah i bless you i give you glory honor adoration for there's no like unto you blessed be your holy name father god in the name of jesus amen oh in the We sing O Zina, O Zina, in the highest, let our King be lifted high, O belongs to you lord jesus blessed be your holy name O god glory to your holy name O god be thou exalted father in the name of jesus thank you father for we have come again this morning to hear from you O lord jesus speak your word speak your undiluted word oh i humble my 
myself in your hands, O Lord. Use me as a vessel of honor, O God, to speak forth your truth, to speak forth your word. O Lord, let your work on with power to heal, to deliver, to set free, to bring the heart and the minds of your people back to you, O God, to return the heart of people back to you, Jesus. O Lord, that they may serve you in your holiness and in your righteousness, that they may keep your status, that they may keep your commandment, that they may live as true children of God, that they may live to please you. Oh God, I pray thee, receive all the glory. Oh, blessed be your holy name, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our topic today is... Deceived by false security in churches. This is by Pastor Porika, the International Director of the Holiness Ever Movement Worldwide Shot from Horemu. Today is Friday, July 15, 2022. I text them for the book of Psalm, chapter 50, verse 16 to 23. I read, But unto the wicked God said, What hast thou to do to declare my status, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and casteth my word behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou considerest with him, and cast, and hast been partakers with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silent, and taughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. But I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Testing from the book of Psalm, chapter 50, verse 16 to 23, I read, But unto the wicked God said, What hast thou to do to declare my status, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and casteth my word behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou considerest with him, and hast been partakers with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue with frament, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silent. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. But I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to, de- to deliver. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show thy salvation, will I show the salvation of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray that God will help us, that we will offer praise to the Lord by our conduct, our conversation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our key verse is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 14. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. That is correct. No blind can lead another blind. But if you choose to follow the blind that means you want to fall to the ditch the condition of our churches today is very important to your security to your blessing to the race to heaven god is holy and associates with holy people is your church a holiness church do your church leaders teach and live holy life if not your life is at a great risk. The assurance of blessing, security, and heaven to you is false. Yes, because God does not answer prayers of sinners. Do they teach the truth there as the word of God demands? The Bible says, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord, from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Holiness is required in worshiping God. 
What blessing and protection are you talking about? If you have blessing and protection, will that lead you to heaven? Protection from who? Blessing from who? Is it what you acquire with your own knowledge? The things of this world, can it give you heaven? Can it take you to heaven? Then what are you talking about? Don't you hear what the word of God says concerning Isaiah chapter 48 verse 22? There is no peace, said the Lord, unto the wicked. You acquire words with unrighteousness. You acquire fame and glories of this earth, a righteous blessings, and you wish to go to heaven, and you are telling yourself lies that you will make heaven. There is no peace, say the Lord, unto the wicked. They may prophesy for you, why you know very well that sin still controls your life. Do you want to destroy your soul in that church? Your pastor is prophesying blessings, riches, honor, and glory. He's anointing your head with oil. Oh, he's giving you all the water to drink and the handkerchief to wave in your working office. Why he knows that you are his second wife. Why he knows that you do not live right. Why he knows that you are a sinner. Why there is a confession you have to do and you have not done it. Why there is a restitution that is still hanging over your head. Why there is one sin and the other that is still there. Repent. God has special promises for his holy children. But says no peace for the wicked. Are you in a state of wickedness? Are you in that state or you are in the place of his holy children? Are you a holy child of God or you, do you do wickedness? Do you think the long prayers and praises in your church worship will push God into pouring his blessing and protections on sinners like you and the members of the church? Where holiness and righteousness is not preached. Where people hate themselves, murder themselves, both physically and spiritually. And you say blessing, blessing. Satan blesses his children with one blessing and he takes ten from them. That is the kind of blessing you find in these places. Psalm 50 verse 17 and verse 22 says, Seeing thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver thee. This is God's stand for sinners. God is ready to tear them in pieces in hell. All those who will not receive the truth of the word of God, the simplicity in the word of God. They go to men who interpret the word of God with their carnal knowledge, their carnal understanding, not spiritual. They do not give themselves to the Holy Spirit to help them interpret it. But they, with their carnal knowledge, for they are after their belly. Their belly is their God. They are seeking money, seeking fame. A pastor said that I am here to make you rich. God has raised me up for your wealth, not for your heaven. For you to get wealth, for you to get this whole world. And it's the Bible that says, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? And there you are under the pastor that is saying, God has raised me up for you to be wealthy. What will the wealth of this earth give to you? Will it give you heaven? You know, even this wealth that these people are talking about, even if it comes to your hand and you are still unholy, you are unrighteous, you don't even know how to give. For the Bible says that those, those that are, 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 are rich, those that are buoyant in wealth, they should do well to give. 
They should give, do well to give so that in that day of judgment, their words may speak for them. Their good, not their wealth, sorry, their good deeds may speak for them. For the Bible says it is, it is difficult for a rich man to enter into heaven, but it's more easier for the needle, the, the, what's it called, the, the needle to pass through the eye of, or, or, or the, sorry, the camel to pass through the eye of a needle. That is what the Bible says. That means you should stand firm, stand in holiness, stand in righteousness, stand in the word of God. Know God for yourself. Know his word and hold on to the word of God. Many are out there to deceive. Yes, because they want your money. I saw something on the internet, I think a few days, that yesterday, yeah, maybe two days ago. A, prof, some, a, a, a lady was saying that I am the high priest. It's a white lady. She said, I am the high priest. And then the papa was calling, oh, so into what, oh, what mama is saying, a, a, a thousand and these dollars. It's everywhere, not just in Africa, in America. This is happening in America already. White people are taking it. Black people are taking it. But what is the truth? The Bible says, let's come to the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Keep his commandment. That is the whole duty of man. Fear God. Hallelujah. Keep the commandment of God. We did not see where Jesus said, come and sow this seed for, for my father in heaven to bless you. Come and sow $1,003. It has to be three each for all your children. You have three children. That is witchcraft. These things are already going on in the churches and people are saying amen to that. Amen to your destiny. Amen to your, to your children's destiny. They are being tied somewhere by false powers. You see this manipulation and when they are set on you, when you open your spirit, I listen to one, uh, 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 one a man at a time, he say yes, that when you open your spirit to these people, they have access. But when you don't know the word of God, they come with one scripture that started from somewhere else and it's ending like that. And they take the ending and carve it out for you. And you do not even know where you are because you don't know the scripture. You don't know the scripture. May the Lord help us. May the Lord keep us. May the Lord help us to know his word and to stand firm in these wicked days. I continue our reading. This is God's standard for sinner, that whosoever that sin it shall die. That's the word of God. You know quite well, there is no holiness in your church. And you are still worshiping there. You make your church a prison cell waiting for hellfire. Why not join people that worship God in holiness? Oh, my papa, my papa. Nobody there to say wrong concerning your papa. In fact, my papa do not say any wrong. My, there's no wrong in my papa. Ella was a priest for years. His sons were, do, were, 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 were sinners. And he never stopped them from doing the service of God. He never took them away. He never rebuked them. He never chased in his children. That is how you are. You are a servant under Eli. You are a sinner. You are sinning there. Your papa will not tell you that you are a sinner that will go to hell. You are a, your, your papa is an ally. You are a sinner still in the house of God. You are a sinner fornicating and committing adultery. You are a sinner telling lies and hating your brother and your sister. You are a sinner not keeping the commandment of God. Wearing pants as a woman and Men dialing their hair, telling lies for all that tell it, that said a lie. Have their part in the lake of fire. You are a sinner and your papa, Ella, do not tell you the truth. Do not chasten you. Do not teach you the word of God. And both you and your papa will die and go to hell if two of you do not repent. I pray that ministers to you. Why not join the true children of God that worship God in truth and spirit, in holiness? Why not join these children of God? What shall it profit you if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Your leaders have reasons to give. 
for their action in keeping you. In keeping you there. But this is a technical siege for their members. To keep you under the bondage of the church. Under the bondage. It's like some churches are like courts that they keep their members under. Hey, if you are leaving, they tell you beforehand, if you want to leave, there's a course that is following you. And you call that a church? Maybe they have given you a position and you feel you are working for God, but you have no hope for heaven. You have a position. You are a deacon and you are a deacon. Oh, you are a position holder in the church. But long time, you have lived the path of righteousness. You are no longer righteous. You even do bribe in the church. What an abomination. Your church has lost the reviver and righteousness of God. Therefore, come out. Come out. For your dear life. For your heaven's sake. For your soul's sake. That you do not rot in hell. May the Lord have mercy in the name of Jesus. Our thought for the day says, false assurance of security will land you in hellfire. Your pastor is assuring you, oh, give your tithe and offering. A cheerful giver never lacks. God loves a cheerful giver. Oh, he loves you. He will take you to heaven. And as I'm saying this, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just reminded like this American preacher, they are preaching, they are, they are playing their own God. Dun, dun. God loves you. Dun, dun. When you get, dun, dun. he will give you, they are playing their organ. God loves a cheerful giver. Dun, dun. He loves you. Dun, dun. And he will take you to heaven. Dun. Hey, 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 hallelujah. That is what is what the people, that is what you love. Then you begin to dance. Hey, hallelujah. God loves me. Pastor, take my money. Take my heaven. Give me hell. That is what you love. That is what they are giving you. You are dancing in the church and you are remembering the boy. You are dancing in club last night. Hey, Hey, you are dancing in church and you are remembering your boyfriend. You're not worshiping God. In fact, you are dancing and you know that the guy behind you is watching your behind and you are shaking it more to kill him. You do not go to church because you love God. You do not go to church because you love God. You go to church because you hear that when you heard that when you go to church, there is a possibility for you to be blessed. When you go to church and give one dollar, God will bargain with you and give you ten dollars. When you give your papa a thousand dollars, God, your papa will pray and God will make a thousand dollars, a hundred dollars. You are going to God with the mind of a gigolo. You are going to God or to the church with a mind of an umbrella, a bargainer. I say that because you want to go reap where you do not sow. That is how you go to church. You are going to church as if you are going to a business place that you sell. You sell one to get. You buy a goods. You buy this goods. Let's say you buy this water for five dollar. You go to church and give the five dollar, and then you go. Oh, my water is for twenty five dollar to gain more, only to gain from God, but not to give God true worship. For those that worship God, must worship God in spirit and in truth. Oh God. Restore your children back to holiness. The Lord was teaching me this morning. I was just reading. 
The church right now is like this Ephraim people. From the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 8, it says, Ephraim, he had mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake that is not turned. No one can eat a cake that is not turned. Ephraim is a cake that is not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength and he knoweth it not. Strangers have devoured the strength of the children of God, has devoured the strength of the church. And the people know it did not. People are blind, thinking that they are serving God in the churches. With their short skirts, with their arms open, with their hair open. No more, no more holiness in the church of God. No more fear or reverence for God. Jesus is weeping for his church. Jesus is weeping. Ephraim is a cake, not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength, and he knoweth it did not. Yea, gray hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knoweth it did not. The church has grown gray hairs here and there. He knoweth it did not. Evil has creeped into the church. But the church is still dancing, still shaking their butts and their breasts and still wearing the things they're not supposed to wear, doing the things they're not supposed to do, giving their money, making bargains in the church as though it is the business of this world. The church has turned like this cake that is not turned. No one can accept it. And our Father God, it's not accepting any church that is not in holiness. Any church that is not in the holiness of God. Let's begin to weep. Let's begin to weep in the place of prayer. Let's begin to pray. Let's pray for our churches that God will restore his holiness back, his righteousness back. Oh, you see people in the church, they are like, they are worldly. They are mind. They come to church, they are not transformed. They do not fear God. They do not live. You cannot differentiate sinners from children of God anymore. Everybody say, I'm a child of God. But their ways do not show it. Their life do not show it. Their appearance do not show it. Oh God, who shall make it? That is why the Bible says, Many are come, but few are chosen. They go, Shila, no, Shala, no, Shala, no. Chula, no, Shita. So few are chosen. Only few shall make it. And in these wicked days, the Lord is on his way coming. Are you getting yourself ready? Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may not come. Tomorrow may not come before the rapture take place. What are you doing concerning yourself? Are you working on yourself? Or you are fighting for position in the church? Or you are tearing your sister? You are tearing your brother down? Unforgiveness in the church. When Jesus forgave you, he died on the cross of Calvary. Even those that killed him, he said, forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Have they killed you? What have people done to you that you cannot forgive? What is the heart that you cannot forgive? God, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy on your church. For the people perish it. Have mercy, O oh God. Have mercy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray the Lord have mercy on his church that majority will go to heaven in Jesus' name. Take thought of these words today. There is no security only in the righteousness 
and in the holiness of God. That is when you are secure. That is when you will make heaven. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord have mercy on you. May the Lord cause your way to go close to him all the time. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord have mercy on his church and keep us in his pavilion. Hide us from the evil of this world and help us to stand to the end. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your glorious name. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day.